Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Gilbertan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about another news kind of a thing which I've done before in my previous Disney movie marathons. So I figure another one is going to hurt nobody. I'm going to give my two cents on this one subject matter. And it's from gods of the actor who plays in this movie, which, by the way, I've not seen as of yet. And, um, yeah, when it comes to superhero movies, like I said before, they're not really my cup of tea, really. And yet I keep making videos about them. I know, it seems weird. But, uh, but anyway, the actor had a thing or two to say towards this, uh, this, this individual. Yes, of course, he has connections to, you know, the Disney Studios and whatnot, of course. And, uh, yeah, of course, I'm going off on some, um, on, a, on an article, which, yes, I know a lot of people already gave their own two cents, and I'm going to do my same thing. Just basically, what I want to say what I have to say. Because that kind of thing is, is really stupid, if you ask me, and I just went on to say that we are not an experiment. We're referring to the fact that it's an Asian cast in a mainstream movie. And, uh, this is just absurd if you ask me, folks. It make up quite a bit of money, and that's great and all. But the individual stated that when the film's released, which was September 3rd, he's pretty uh, fired up because he's about to make history, which is, um... Uh, quite a statement, I should say, because, uh, Newsflash, this was not the first, uh, mainstream movie to feature, uh, an odd Asian cast. Uh, and yeah, there are, there's been plenty of other movies that did that, and I do mean a lot. So, um, way before this, too, when you think about it. I saw the devil, the road. Home, My Sassy Girl, The Whispering Cabron series, Chaser, Battle Royale, Seven Samurai, Crush and Hidden Dragon, Hero, uh, In the Mood of Love, Powerful Hustle, Old Boy. So, yeah, what the hell are you talking about? I just listened to just some of them. There's plenty more that came from. You have to think about it, a lot of the Asian stuff, like Sailor Moon, for example, became one of the most popular and most influential anime shows of all time. And it's easily one of the most recognizable superhero kind of a thing, and it's still around to this very day. Like this little musical kind of a thing. It still goes in Japan and whatnot. And even outside of Japan, the um, anime version and the live action version of the TV show, uh, it's still viewed by a lot of people. Even right now, even the, the live action show, okay, might have ended quite some time ago, and it, and they only last like, what, one season, to my knowledge? And, yeah. So, I don't know what, I don't know what he's talking about, or what, uh, this, this is pretty mainstream stuff right here as well. So, yeah, it just, I mean, it's a TV show, technically, sure, but still, come on. Uh on the internet there's uh, Asian individuals who have on Twitch or whatever else that do have a bit of a quite a bit of a influence as well so I won't be so easily dismissed of these kinds of things and yes she's really really well known yeah she's not that um, obscured or anything so yeah in this case as you can guess of course I'm defending Disney. Yes, I'm defending, I'm defending Disney again here. So if anybody has an issue with that, well, you know what? I missed the part where that's my problem. And there's this whole bit where in the same article, this individual, she expresses the fact that there should be more diverse in films. Even though, if you actually look hard enough, if you actually look more, it's actually already there. So, and 
again, uh, she, she tries to bring up her own examples of what she's talking about, but the thing is that, I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with having diverse casts, and yes, there should be more of it, but we also should talk about the storylines and not have it diverse for its own sake when you think about it, and yes, they bring the whole rainbow flag for a brief moment and whatnot, and yes, there's still a lot of work which she brings up, which yes, I'm not going to deny, yes, there is still, still plenty of work to do, I'm of course it is, but there's also Dragon Age Inquisition, which has a diverse cast, and and there's LGBT characters in that game. So, yeah, and that mo and that game got into trouble because of that. It's of course stupid when you think about it. And those, you know, the Fast and Furious films, they have a diverse cast, and also I can say the same thing with um, the Star Trek films as well. And, um, let me see what else. Oh, yes, yes. This as well, when you think about it. Ugh, yeah. Come on. So, you actually have to look. So, again, I don't get what she's trying to get. I guess she's trying to, she's trying to hype up the movie in some ways. And, yes, of course it's fine to have an art, uh, like a divorce cast and whatnot. That, that, that's fine. Uh, I'm not, I'm not against that kind of a thing, because... A lot, as long as it's a good story, I mean, I'm all for it, of course. But yeah, just, um, he, uh, he doesn't want to be looked upon as some sort of, what, what he ca called, like, an interesting experiment, or whatnot. But, um, the actor had posted this, um, uh, this statement that the film on social media, which, uh, appeared to be, like, some sort of a thing and whatnot, I want to see how things would go. Of course, because he wants to be clear that just because they're Asian doesn't mean that they're just some sort of experimental interest for uh, for the viewers. Which, I believe he's taking it the wrong way, if you ask me, because uh, uh, newsflash, the movie industry is, in fact, a business. It's a business. Even if the movie is good... That's no guaranteed that it's going to be a hit. I mean, yes, of course, as I mentioned a few moments ago, it didn't make a lot of money. And it's currently making a lot of money. And, um, so yeah, even, I'm not even counting the, um, the home release sales, of course. Which I'm pretty sure it, it would do pretty well in that as well. So, of course, it's doing actually pretty well. That's But, but that's the but sides. That's kind of the, besides the point I'm trying to get at. I'm out, again. I'm not. I've not seen the movie myself, so I don't know if it's good or not or whatever. But what I'm what I'm saying is that uh, it's a gamble. It's pretty much a gamble when it comes to making movies uh, because you don't know if it's gonna be a hit or not. Especially a game of chance when you think about it. I mean, yes, there's been plenty of bad movies that made a lot of money. There's lots of bad movies out there that made truck ton of money. Uh, I mean, just because he made a lot of money doesn't mean it's good, but point being, just because it's good, there's no guarantee it will succeed. But as mentioned a moment ago, there's a bunch of, uh, uh, slock that did make a lot of money. I would just list a few of garbage that made a lot of money. Let me see. The Twilight movies, Batman v Superman, the Transformer films, all of which were actually pretty successful. In the box office. And yeah, there's quite a few people that actually do enjoy these films. I don't know why, but whatever it is. So yeah. And yeah, I mean, I, I do want you know people to do well in cinema, of course. And not a lot of people could make into movies. It's, it's, it's a hard work, of course. It's a very demanding thing, of obviously. And uh, so yeah. There's nothing wrong with trying to be the underdog, but then you prove yourself to be uh, a big deal at the end of the day, that's, that's fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to make your life worth while you're to, to be the next big thing and whatnot. I'm not trying to discourage that, like, at all. That's, that's totally, completely fine, obviously. But, but uh, I just think what he's was saying here just comes off weird, if you ask me. It doesn't make a lot of sense and whatnot. And, um, but yeah, I mean, there's plenty of, um, you know, trouble going on anyway when it comes to cinema, 
considering the fact that's the whole pandemic thing going not going on, the whole virus and whatnot. So yes, of course, uh, it's gonna be tough for any movie to make uh, any amount of money, and you know this year or the or the previous months, of course. So yeah, it's nothing short of a miracle that this movie is making a lot of money. That's that's something I guess you can say, sure. But yeah, I just think that what he was saying makes no sense at all. Just me no, there's definitely plenty of uh, movies out there that's definitely worth watching. And like I said way earlier, folks, I know, like I said multiple times in different videos, the superhero stuff was never really my thing, really. So, but don't be thinking that I'm just trying to disagree with him just because the movie he's in is a superhero movie. No. If it's a good movie, fine, fine. Nothing wrong with that. If it's a good movie. I'm not against that. But, yeah. Just think uh, that he felt he had the need to, you know, uh, say he has to uh, make this kind of a st statement and whatnot. He felt like he, it was very, he felt very privileged to be going on with this kind of a thing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would feel the same way. They'd be a part of the adventures and whatnot. And it there's multiple movies in already, and they're planning to make even more movies. And yeah, I mean, I mean, these movies are making a lot of money anyway. At least most of these movies are making a lot of money. And I can see why the Disney and Marvel want to make even more. Like, okay, so yeah, there's that, folks, going on. So, if anything, I just want to make this real quick because I just thought that uh, I, I thought it was deemed to be newsworthy. I guess in some ways, I suppose, and whatnot. And, um, at the end of the day, all I really care about is a good story and great characters. And if you want, if they want to have more diverse type of characters, sure, I mean, why not? I mean, I think that's a good way to execute this kind of a thing. And, but, of course, there should be more to these characters than what their country of origin, of course. There should be more to these characters than their sexual orientation. There should be more to the characters than their gender identity. Uh, you know, uh, this point being is that, you know, make a well-rounded character and give them a sense of, you know, of being a hero or a heroine, I guess you can say, and whatnot. Give them a full-fledged character. Make them feel like actual people, you know, with great dialogue, with great acting. Uh, lots of action and whatnot. I know when it comes to superhero stuff, the comic book superhero stuff, I know people uh, tend to watch these movies for the action and whatnot. I, mean, I gave them uh, plenty of action scenes, of course, because that's, that's part of the fun, I guess, when it comes to these movies. Lots of action and whatnot. Well, anyway, I guess that'll be it for now, folks. You know, when you think about it. Japanese music has actually been a pretty big thing, even in America. There's plenty of American fans who enjoy this kind of a thing as well. So, yeah, this um, this is definitely a, uh, kind of a thing that people enjoy, which is fine. So, even this has a pretty big influence in America as well, when you think about it. So, yeah. The film series was actually pretty popular as well. And it has an all Asian cast, so there's that. Bit of a shame that these films kind of fell into obscurity, when you think about it. Is they're from Japan, they were, and they were great. Uh, anyway, I guess that'll be it for now, folks. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah. Later. Yes, sorry. Ugh.